comedy, huh? All right, good to be here. Sorry, a little hungover. Went out last night with a friend. Uh, he's like a beer expert, you know, one of these guys like, we got to go to a brewery. I'm like, why can't we just go to a bar? He's like, it's fun. You can see how it's made. I don't care how it's made. Look, I like porn. I don't need to go to a broken home. <laughs> Not saying all porns aren't broken home, just the ones I like. Um, <laughs> Yeah, my friend's a gay guy. He's obsessed with straight dudes. That's like his thing. He's like, I love flipping a hetero. He's like, you know how hard that is? You know how hard it is to go out there every night, see a bunch of people you want to have sex with who don't want to have sex with you? I was like, that's exactly what it's like being a straight guy. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I would argue it's just as hard for me to sleep with a woman as for you to flip a hetero. He was like, no, no, no. You got to take them out for hours, convince them. Yeah, yeah, same here. <laughs> He's like, no, no, even if you do pull it off, which is like a miracle, they feel horrible after. Yeah, yeah, same thing. <laughs> We went back and forth for hours, arguing about this all night, back and forth. Eventually, I woke up at his place. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, hey. Oh, yeah. I'm not gay. I got a girlfriend. She's cool. I'm surprised she's still with me, because I always say the wrong thing. Like, on our first date, she was like, you know, I feel very brave tonight. I was like, why is that? Because I'm not wearing any makeup. I was like, how's that brave? Because I'm being my true self, being the real me. I was like, oh, okay. She's like, you should be brave. I'm like, yeah, maybe I will. She's like, what are you going to do? I was like, I'm going to stop pretending this is interesting. <laughs> she was like, wow, I can't believe you just said that. I was like, yeah, it took guts. <laughs> but it's good to be with somebody, because those dating apps, those aren't fun, you know? Every girl would always ask me how tall I was. You ladies are all a bunch of filthy height supremacists. Yeah? <laughs> you over six feet? You over six feet? You over six feet? I felt bad. I felt like I had to come up with something. I was like, well, no, but if it helps, I'm still growing as a person. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know we could ask physical stuff out of the gate. I was like, how much do you weigh? She was like, whoa, that's body shaming. It's hard for me to lose weight. Well, it's harder for me to gain height. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, we've been talking about women's issues a lot now, which is good. Uh, one issue I'm surprised doesn't come up is uh, I feel like women are getting screwed in the orgasm department. I feel like men are having way more orgasms than women, and that sucks. People talk about the wage gap. The orgasm gap is out of control, right? <laughs> you gals are getting 77 cents to the boner. <laughs> like, if a woman had to have an orgasm to get pregnant, there'd be, like, two people here. <laughs> and you get nothing for your orgasm. Like, if a guy has an orgasm, go get pregnant, carry a baby for nine months, deliver the baby, then breastfeed the baby. And all the guy had to do was this. <laughs> and he tried really hard not to do that. <laughs> it's a horrible setup for the woman. The guy has all the fun, the girl has all the work. That'd be like if I ate a whole chocolate cake and the girl gained weight, then she went to the gym and I got buff. <laughs> But you guys are nice. A lot of crowds very uh, sensitive now, you know? Everybody went and got upset about words. I got yelled at the other night. This guy goes, hey, buddy, that's a trigger word. I was like, whoa, I think it's pronounced trigger. <laughs> <laughs> Easy there, big fella. Yeah, you can't talk about much. Uh, racial jokes, that's hard to pull off. Let's try one. Um, <laughs> White privilege, you hear about that a lot now, white privilege. But I thought it was all about diversity, so shouldn't we talk about everybody's privileges? Why are we just limiting it to whitey? Let's spread the love. Let's make every group feel good. Everybody's got something. Tall people, privilege, see at a concert. Jews, no hell. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. Women, ladies night, that's cool. Black people, I can't wear a purple suit. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like fun. Everybody's got a perk. Indian people, even if you're undateable, your parents will arrange something. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Let's spread the love. But I'm a white guy, you know, so if I talk about race, inevitably another p white person will call me racist. That's like what we do now, you know? Like, you don't even know me. That's quite an accusation, you know? That's an important word. You gotta take the teeth out of it, you know? Like, I was on the subway recently. I was watching an interracial couple make out. I was just staring at them. <laughs> And the guy next to them caught me, and he goes, what the hell? I see you staring at them. What are you, racist? I was like, what? Racist? No, I'm a creep. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm hard. <laughs> I'm not a racist. I'm aroused. <laughs> he was like, wow, who talks like that? I'm like, well, I'm pretty brave. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I'm Kevin